Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have another 3v3 Iron Man, and before we go ahead and hop into this, the Coliseum is going to be hosting a huge Iron Man tournament, and if you want to participate in that, you can go ahead and join the Coliseum down below in the description, their link is right near the top, it's a Discord link, and then also, if you want to read about their Coliseum League, which is going to be what the tournament is called with all the Ironmans. Uh, at the very bottom of the description, past the channel member names, there is going to be the entire thing that they sent me, the entire message. And all you have to do is like you, you can just go down there and read that if you're interested um, about like some of the rules or something like that. And then if you have more questions, you can, of course, just go ahead and go to the Coliseum and then just go ahead and ask somebody who knows more about it than I do. But uh, so hopping into this video, it is going to be a 3v3 Iron Man, $150 Iron Man. So $50 per person on each team. So, you know, the winner will win 150 and the loser will lose 150. And with that being said, let's hop right into the first match. We have Alexandro Pernini versus Triv Gaming. Also, you can go ahead and check out Triv Gaming down below in the description. I'll leave a link to his YouTube. Two scoops of pre-triv, you ready? <laughs> and then we're gonna see Alexandra win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. And they're gonna go first, opening hands. We have Nova, Prosperity, Ava, Gamma, Alpha. So, you know, try trying winning the dice roll. Uh, very, very big, of course. And they have Warlords, TT, Black Awakening, Trap Trick, and Order, so. Triv is still on the Eldish deck that I showed off on the channel a few days ago. Also, there's a deck profile in that video if you want to go check that out. But the problem is here is that they're not breaking the board. So they're going to go ahead and activate Nova and then summon out Zeta. Like, the only card they can draw, they have to draw Psalm Strike. There's no other card they can draw. Uh, go ahead and Alpha, Tribute Zeta, grab Ben 10, Zeta effect, Tribute Ben 10, Summon Al, go grab Ritual Spell, Ben 10 effect to go Surge, grab Diviner. And like obviously this is full combo here, so uh, Triv is like, you know, put on top deck Striker GG's. Uh, they do play st 3 Strike though, so, you know, uh, it's not like it's like a 1 over something. They're going to go ahead, Perfection, Ritual Spell, Detach, Summon out Ben 10. And then they're going to overlay, summon out Beatrice, and then Beatrice effect, attach Diviner, go dump Ava, and then Ava effect, to banish, go grab Orange Light and Diviner. And then Ritual Spell effect, add itself back. And then Delta summon by attributing the perfection. They're going to reveal, so they're not trying to activate Prosperity this turn. Draws into Emergency, and then activate Emergency to go grab Draco and Nids. Then Ritual Spell, get rid of Gamma to bring out the Perfection. Um, then go for Link Karibo, get rid of Fafnir to summon out Gamma. I mean, they didn't really need the Ritual Spell to get rid of Gamma. They could have also detached and just used this from hand, but I, I guess it doesn't really matter here. And then they're going to summon back out Zeta and then turn those into IP. Then pass turn, and they do not draw the Psalm Strike here. They're going to Beatrice during standby phase. Go dump Alpha. Then they're thinking, and they just submit defeat. So, I think that them just like saying think there probably was them trying to like bluff that they're not on Eldish, since recently Triv has been known for playing Eldish. Because uh, they were like, oh, think, can I break this board? Can I do something? And then they were like, ah, just scoop. Uh, but going on to the next game, we are going to go ahead and we're going to see Triv decide to go first. And then opening hands, we have Emergency, Ava, Zeta, Alpha, and Idaton. So, you know, you don't really need, like, Hand Traps versus an Eldish deck. Uh, they don't know it's Eldish, though. And then they have Skill Drain, Extravagance, Scarlet, Extravagance, and Strike. So... Um, not the greatest to draw multiple of these, but to be fair, you can activate one this turn, pot agreed, next turn activate, pot agreed, so um, it's definitely not like bad or anything. Then activate, banish six. And then they are going to go ahead and draw here. 
Draws into a Punishment and Scarlet. Um, looking at what they banished. Uh, they do play two Ash, I'm pretty sure, and three Elder. So, like, the, the Punishment there is still going to be very effective. They're still going to have, like, multiple different targets for it. And then they're going to set five, pass. They draw Diviner. Imagine if they drew, like, Harpies there. Normal summon out Diviner and then Effect, Chain Skill Drain. And then activate Alpha Effect, Tribute Zeta, Summon, go grab Ben 10. And then activate the Zeta Effect, Tribute Ben 10. So Summon, and then grab Ritual Spell, Ben 10 Effect to go search, grab Orange Light. Uh, they are thinking here about what they want to do. Activate Emergency to grab Gamma. And then get rid of all those to go for the Arc. Okay. Um, this still works under Skill Drain. Like, you can, like, you know, Tribute to Negate still. And then you can go ahead and search something. So they're going to pass. They're going to activate the Scarlet here and then Chain Arc to Negate. And then effect, go search out Draco Nids. And they can't like flip another Scarlet here at end phase because it says use and not activate. They draw an Add Your Servant. Then they're going to activate Scarlet, summon out Lord. And then activate Extravagance because they did the Scarlet during the draw phase. And then Extravagance here. Um, looking at the banishes, we can see a, a Last Warrior. So they are on a. Uh, Oh, they're, uh, I forgot the name of the card for a second. I looked at the hand. They're on Waking Out of the Dragon. Perfect. That was honestly, like, too perfect. Uh, we can see that two Elder and two Ash are gone. So they should still have another Elder, assuming that they're playing what they were playing before. And they draw on the Awakening and Wakero. So the Wakero is honestly pretty good. You know, Wakero versus this deck is insane. Then activate and add your servant, dump the Nightmare Phoenix, go grab Ecclesia. That's a funny dump. And then normal summon out Ecclesia. And then just go battle phase poke. So getting in some very good damage here, halving their life. And then set, pass. Ooh. Ooh. And this card, wait, hold up. Um, even if they still had this card in the extra deck. Uh, this card activates on summon to destroy all other monsters you control, and they'd be able to orange light that. But they're going to go ahead and lightning storm. Oh my gosh. I mean, they probably still have another target, right? I feel like you wouldn't just play, like, one target. Maybe I'm wrong, though. They're going to go ahead and chain Monk Hero, hit the Ben 10, and then everything's going to go. Awakening effect, but... They, hey, they do play another target, but this also loses out the orange light, so it doesn't really matter here. Um, that That's like, this is over game. They're just not going to admit defeat here because, you know, why would you admit defeat? If you admit defeat, the match is over. If your opponent messes up, you know, there's a chance that you still end up winning. And then they're going to get Idaton and Ava. So go ahead, grab orange light, grab diviner, add back ritual spell. And then activate the Zeta effect, tribute out perfection, summon, overlay for Fafnir, Fafnir effect, go dump Delta. Yeah, it's like there, there's just no way that Triv wins here. Tribute Idaton, summon, reveal, draw. Like that Lightning Storm draw was just like, it was just too good. Even with the Awakening. Uh, ritual spell, detach, summon Idaton, effect, grab ritual spell. And then Tribute Idaton for Gamma, and then Gamma's going to bring back a friend. Ritual Spell to attach, summon Idaton, Idaton effect. It's cr like, this card is just so crazy. Like, these two together is absurd. And then they're going to get rid of all those to go for Unicorn, and then go for Access Code, activate the effect, gain 3,000 attack, normal summon out Diviner, Diviner, Sun Elder, Elder effect, Pop Lord, and then, you know... Uh, they can just go ahead, banish, pop, and then attack for game. Um, we can see the GGs there. You know, gotta love to see that. 
Uh, again, if you want to check out Triv Gaming, uh, you can go ahead and check out the description down below near the top of the description. And seeing how long that much match was, it was pretty quick. It was only 25 minutes long. Uh, but going on to match two now. So we are going to see team one still have three left and team two is only going to have two lives left. So going on to the next one. We are going to see Alexandro Pertinini versus you're not that guy. Nice name. Then we're going to see Alexandro win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot and decide to go first. 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Alpha, Zeta, Nova, Emergency, Alpha. So, you know, obviously winning the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot with Drytron, very huge. Um, and the hand hand definitely works here. They have access to all of the Drytron names. Um, they might also, like, search out, like, Draco Nids with this, since the Fafnir can go ahead and dump one of the other names anyways. And then they have Called By, Prosperity, Natty Servant, Punishment, Meltdown. You know, going first, this, uh... That would have been the handshake game one, but going second, you know, no hand traps, nothing like that. Um, just ends up losing out to all the negates. They're going to summon out Alpha, search out Ben 10, and then Zeta effect. Let's see, can they top deck like a droplet or something? A droplet would be huge because if you droplet the opponent and then you called by and you go ahead, you like, you can stop orange light. Then go for Fafnir, but even then, like, this deck is just, this deck's actually just, like, Dragon Rulers, and, like, it still just plays next turn with the Graveyard. And then, Normal Summon effects, and Arc, Arc effect to go search, and then they're gonna go grab out Perfection. And then Ritual Spell, Detach, Summon out Ben 10. Also, I have a lot of Iron Man videos coming up. Uh, there should be an Iron Man video every single day for, like, the next few days at least. Um, and if more Iron Mans keep coming in, then it's going to be at least one Iron Man video a day, every day. Uh, that's definitely a goal I want for this channel. But, you know, I don't really get to choose, like, when I get Iron Man replays. Like, other people have to play them and then, like, send them in. So hopefully that just keeps happening because I really like recording these videos. Delta, Tribute Gamma, Summon, Reveal, and then Draw. Draws in the Talons. Then activate ritual spell, detach, bring out perfection. And then get rid of Delta for the Link Karibo. Tribute Fafnir for Gamma. Gamma bring out Zeta. And then go for IP. And then pass. Draw Maximus. Oh, that ass game. Uh, Beatrice effect here. Dump Ava. And then Ava effect to banish two. And then go search. And as you see, like, they have... A lot of follow-up here, too. And then they're going to grab Orange Light, grab Diviner. And it's like, even if they have to, like, double Orange Light after Droplet. Like, let's pretend Called By isn't here. Even if they had the, even if they got Droplet and had the double Orange Light, they'd still have, like, Alpha and Nova as names, including Talents and a draw for turn. Like, that's insane. Uh, okay, so they're setting cards here. Their first teammate was on Eldlish. So if they set cards like this, maybe they're going to be like, Hey, is this dude on Eldlish too? Draw Talons. They're going to get rid of those. Go for Unicorn. Unicorn effect. Spin back. Honestly, there's a chance that they even like flip Punishment to really push the fact that they could be on Eldlish. Dump Elder. Elder effect. They target a back row. That's one of the spells. We can actually see what they targeted here. Um, it wasn't punishment, though. They targeted called by, and they admitted defeat. Maybe it was worth flipping punishment just to really push the idea that they're on Eldlish. Like, if they flip punishment and target, let's say, I don't know, you target Unicorn, the opponent could be like, ooh, may maybe there's a strike set. I don't know, maybe I don't want to play into that. And then that, that really has them thinking you're on Eldlish. And then you admit defeat. Um, so going on to the next game, we are going to go ahead and see the Shadal player be going first. Opening hands, we have Ben 10, Draconids, Mystic Mind, Alpha, and Nova. So, yeah, it doesn't really seem like they were convinced that it was Eldlish. <laughs> 
And then they have Alistair, Terraforming Talents, Nib, and Invocation. So this is uh you know this is the combo, you know, normal summon Alistair. Uh, normal summon Al Alistair effect and then go search out invocation and then link away go for Amraj, go for secure garden uh, activate invocation and this is going to banish those summon out Makaba and then invocation effect to grab back Alistair yeah I'm, like that's it's just not that good like it's a negate with nib that's not bad draw Zeta so now they even have like Zeta Alpha. They've opened up like Zeta Alpha, just like hard drawn Zeta Alpha. I swear it's been every game. But like obviously like they already had the combo. Um, for sure they had the combo, but it's just kind of insane. Activate Mystic Mind. They're gonna let that go through. Pass. All right. Is this just going to be uh, a mind game? Go grab Delta. And then, all right, activate Zeta, tribute Ben 10, summon out, and then grab ritual spell, Ben 10 effect, chain Makaba to negate that, and then it's also going to get banished, yeah. Activate Delta, tribute Draco Nids, summon out, reveal ritual spell, draw on the Gamma, and then overlay for assembled. Battle phase, they're gonna you know attack, attack, go for downward, and then Zeus. The Zeus effect to wipe the field. And then activate gamma, tribute alpha, summon out, and then bring out alpha, overlay for Fafnir. Um Is there a world I guess like if you activate Alpha Tribute to go well no 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 wait 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 never mind never mind never mind they they already alpha this turn because like that's how they got the Herald to hand right like they didn't just draw that I guess we should go ahead look also um, okay no they did just draw it so they could have activated Alpha but like I guess like if you Alpha like go search Idaton and then like summon this out and then go for this like that gives you like a protection but is it worth it I guess that's the question also um background story uh the last 48 hours if you watch the videos that are getting posted that were posted yesterday um you know that I was up for 24 hours and now I've been up for 48 hours but you know I did get like two three hours of sleep I tried going to bed didn't end up working out so now I got a full commit again and stay up for another like 12 hours from now so i'll be up for like 60 with like two hours of sleep and then whoo, hopefully i get good eight hours of sleep that's the goal that's the goal um but we're gonna go ahead and get the effect go to zeta and then activate nova oh this nib is gonna go in they're gonna go ahead and drop nib here um, I mean, they could have just waited, right? Maybe they just didn't want them to, like, summon this back, and then, like, the nib token have more attack in defense, but they're probably just gonna, like, A-ghost out it anyways. And it's not, like, yeah, if they summon out, like, Idaton, cool Idaton, Advec, Ritual Spell. But, okay, they're gonna go ahead and drop nib there. And then pass, draw punishment, and then they're going to activate the invocation, and that's going to get rid of Alistair, Makaba, summon out Agos, Agos pop, invocation, grab back Alistair, uh, this is just game here, uh, normal summon out Alistair, effect, and then they're going to grab invocation, or wait, this, uh, wait, 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 this is a uh, 2000... Plus 3,000, so 5,000, and then they're gonna melt down for Alistair, and then um, that's my Kabbalah, so yeah, yeah, it is game. Uh, yeah, they can't, they don't have like another Link 1. They already went through their Link 1 package, but it's cool because they can just banish. Ooh, okay. Banishing assembled. I guess they only play one Makaba, 
Uh, but you know, this still works. This is still game. Now, moving on to a game three. We are going to see Alexandro, the Drytron player, be going first. Opening hands, we have Nova, Diviner, Nova, Alpha, and Prosperity. So this is definitely a combo. And then they have Prosperity, Nadir, Servant, Terraforming, Knight, Alistair. Wow. Or, uh, are we just going to see... Is Alexandro going to sweep? Like, they have to win this match and another one. But it looks like this match is... Well, it looks like they're going to win this one. They're going to go ahead and grab Zeta. And then put those back. And, like, this is definitely a combo. Like, this is... This is the full combo. Alpha, Tribute, Zeta. Like, this by itself is combo. But then they also have, like, Diviner and Nova. Go grab Ben 10. Then activate Zeta, Tribute Ben 10. Summon, Ritual, Spot of Hand. Ben 10 effect to go search. Search out the orange light. Overlay for the Fafnir. And then Fafnir effect. Go dump Gamma. Then activate ritual spell, detach, summon out Ben 10. And then they're going to normal summon out Diviner, Diviner effect, send Arc, and then Arc effect, grab Perfection, overlay for Beatrice. And then activate Beatrice effect, dumping Ava. And then Ava effect, banish to go search, grab Orange Light, grab Diviner. And then Ritual Spell to add itself back. Gamma, Tribute, Summon, Summon. And then get rid of that for Link Karibo. Activate Ritual Spell, Summon out the Herald. And then they're just going to make... Ooh, okay, so they're going to activate Nova here. Bring out Delta. And then get rid of those to go for IP. Okay, so... I mean, this is... uh. It's pretty good. You can't lie. Can't lie. And they still have two more negates coming through Beatrice. Pass, draw Shadal Fusion. And then they're going to act it. Beatrice effect, detach, go dump Ava. And then Ava effect, the banish to go search, grab Orange Light, and grab Diviner. So, you know, just a casual five negates plus IP. Um, activate Terraforming, negate. Activate Prosperity, banishing three. Negate. Normal summon Alistair. Effect. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, hold up. Let me turn those off. Alright. Oh. <laughs> That's my bad. That's my bad. I didn't even realize I had those on. It just uh, it just turned 8.30. They're going to go ahead and Alistair. Grab Invocation. And then activate IP effect here. They're going to get rid of those. To summon out Unicorn. Unicorn effect to spin back Alistair. Activate Knight. Um, they're thinking on that. They're gonna let it go through. Um, you know they they have Link Karibo just to like protect, or they could even negate the effect that they wanted to. Nadir Servant negate. Should all fusion. Wow, negate. <laughs> Attack Unicorn, and then they're gonna be activating the Link Karibo here. Pass. Draw Emergency, and then yeah, it's game. Hey, there's their hand traps. <laughs> Those, those would have done something turn one. Like, this would have done something turn one, but, you know, you don't, you don't see them every time. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But seeing how long that match was, we can see that it was 28 minutes long. Again, pretty quick. I mean, that'll happen when Drytron wins the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. They go first. Game one, it's pretty much like a guaranteed win against, like, the decks they've been playing against that don't play a lot of hand traps. Like, Eldritch, no hand traps. The Shadal deck, usually not a lot of hand traps. They can usually push through and still combo. And then, you know, game two, um, whatever. They can just, like, fold if the opponent combos. And then game three, they go first. And they still have the advantage. Um, and again, with these decks not main decking a lot of hand traps, even if you side in some very strong hand traps versus them, you don't have a very high chance of drawing them. That's why if you, like, main deck nine hand traps and you side deck in more, it makes us have you have like a really high chance of drawing hand traps game two and three um, compared to like if you main deck like no hand traps and then you side deck in like six then like it's not really that high of a chance to draw them but 
So now we're gonna see team one have three and team two has one left. Okay, now let's see. Will Drytron just go ahead and boom, 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 piece up the entire team and sweep them. We are going to see Alexandro Pertinini versus the Nash. All right. Are you thinking on rock, paper, scissors, shoot, bro? <laughs> Pull, pulling up the generator. The rock, paper, scissors, shoot generator. So we are going to go ahead, we're going to see Nesh win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they're going to go first. That is huge. First person to win a Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot on his team. Opening hands, we have Emergency, Alpha, Zeta, Nova, Zeta. I mean, a lot of engine. They opened up all four names again. And then they have Valor, Foolish, Fractal, Prosperity, and Nerva. So I've been asked a lot to rate how I feel about Pure, Zoo, and the Ancient Warrior deck. And before, I thought it went Zoo, Ancient Warrior, Pure. But I hate the Ancient Warrior so much. I tested them a, a decent amount. And half the time, like the first half, and they were insane. I'm talking like every hand, they were perfect. The second time I tested them for probably, probably like 10 hours. And every single time... Every single time besides once. And I got double hand trapped anyways. They were bad. So they were good like one time at like 10 hours. Like I hate those cards. I definitely prefer Pure or the Zoo build. I think like these build, like this build is just like way better. Uh, they're going to go ahead and Fractal, dump Kit, Kit, dump Nerval, Nerval, grab Kuraz, and then Normal Summon out Nerval, Nerval effect, Banish, and then Special Summoning out from the Extract. They're going to bring out Blossom. Then activate Blossom effect, and this is going to summon out Kuraz. And then link those away, go for Silver. Uh, not using the Blossom here because they want to use Prosperity. Activate Kuraz, banish, bring out the Bear Bloom, and get rid of all those. Summon Appalooza, and then you're going to get the Bear Bloom effect there to go search out Revolt, and then put back, puts back Foolish, and then activate Prosperity. So go ahead and banish six. See like the mannequin cat, double dragon lord, uh, lambda. And then look at the top six. They're gonna grab Ash. Uh, they're also main decking harpies. That like main decking harpies in like order with prosperity almost feels like cheating. It's so good sometimes. And they're gonna go ahead and put those back. And then set pass, draw Idaton, so it's a pretty strong board. Activate Emergency, go grab Delta. It's just insane how, like, good Appalooza Revolt is. And then, like, you always have, like, one defensive card with it. Like, every single time you have a defensive card with it. Because to do this, like, all you need is a Fractal. And then activate Delta. And they're just going to go ahead and admit defeat when they have to lose in the gate. So going on to game two, we are going to go ahead and we are going to see the Drivetron player decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Nova, Zeta, Orange Light, Draco Nids, and Nova. And then they have Tanky, Called by Nerva, Revo, Foolish. Wow, no hand traps. I was going to say, like, maybe, uh, maybe this is the time they go first and they lose. Because, like, you know, their hand works, but it's not, like, overly strong if they get hand trapped. But, uh, yeah, no hand traps. So, summon out Alpha. They're going to link away for Link Karibo. Alpha Effect Tribute. Oh, this would be the perfect time for a cycle reader. <laughs> and they're just going to go ahead and admit defeat there. All right, I respect it. We don't have to watch more Drytron combos. I like it. I like it. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to see Nesh be going first. Opening hands. We have Emergency, Orange Light, Storm, Nova, Alpha. So... You know, Storm's pretty good. This can out like the Appalooza. And then they have, well, it's not out, but it's not out in anything. And then they also have Judgment, Caress, Kit, Prosperity. Wow, that's a nice hand. <laughs> good luck. I don't need luck. I got family. Discard and then. Yo? <laughs> Yo? <laughs> Yo? Yo, shout out to who, uh, shout out to Alexandro Pertinini. Like, we have the same mind. I, <laughs> that's insane. 
<laughs> They're gonna go ahead and get rid of kit, kit affected dump. It's actually kind of awesome. And then effect, go search out kit, activate Kuraz, and then they're gonna banish, special summon out, blossom, blossom effect, summon kit, and then get rid of those, go for silver. Um, they are activating blossom effect here, so they're not wanting to resolve prosperity. Oh my gosh. I mean, they already have orders, so I mean, it's not, it's not like insane, but uh, it's gonna make it to where like, they flip anti-spell and they go, haha, chain twin. They're gonna be like, haha, chain order, instead of having to order and then judgment. Uh, banish, bring out bear bloom. Actually, never mind. This is this is getting put back anyways. Never mind. Yeah, the, the bear bloom. Yep. So it really didn't matter what they drew off of that. They're gonna grab revolt and then put back anti spells. Set pass. Draw nova. They've seen double nova a lot. They're gonna go ahead and storm, call and spell traps, and then they're gonna flip order. <laughs> it said you nice. Who's next? Get this buy off me. Holy. Are we going to see Nesh reverse sweep? Seems pretty confident. Alright. I mean, let's find out. That was a really, really, really quick match. Yeah, that, that was 15. That was way quicker than the other ones, too. So, now we're going to see Team 1 have 2 left. And Team 2 has 1 left. Going on to the next match, we are going to see Yuchi Hungary versus Nesh. And then, oh, they're going to be on, uh, they could be on Striker, they could be on Grand Maju, that's what they've been playing a lot, and they win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoe. all right, we'll find out right here, do they decide to go first or second? They choose to go second, all right, Striker, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, opening hands, we have Desires, Bell, Ray, Terraforming, Ray, so one hand trap, um, I don't know, it's kind of a weird hand trap, versus... The Tri Brigade deck, it really depends what board they go for. Like, if they set up the Appaloosa board, this card doesn't really do too much a lot of the time. But if they go for, like, a Silver Double Lords build, which they are end board, just because, like, you know, they, they were forced to go second, so they can pretty much tell it's Striker, and that end board's a little bit better versus Striker. And then they have Prosperity, Nerval, Revolt, Order, and Kit. And then they're going to activate Prosperity. And this is going to banish three. And then looking at the three. Yeah, nothing uh, nothing too crazy there. We've already seen all that. And then they're going to grab called by. And then put those back. So, you know, they're just going to go for uh, some really simple things here. Go for Amrage, Nerval effect, grab Kuraz. And then they're going to summon out Kuraz by getting rid of Kit. So summon by discarding, and then kit effect to go dump. Now they have all four for the revolt. And then Kuraz, banish, bring out the double dragon lords. And then set orders, set revolt, set called by. And you gotta remember to, uh, to make the revolt be able to become an omen. All they have to do is just go ahead and activate double dragon lords and send Kuraz, and they have all four. Pass, draw Valor. Also, by the way, they opened up Order Game 1 versus Striker. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Activate Terraforming. They say it's okay. Go grab Area 0. Um, trying to not play into like a Cosmic or anything. Then Desires. Banish. Um... So they banish like these. These are both one ofs, obviously. They're both at one. Uh, they're gonna chain order two desires. So they're probably like, all right, terraforming's good. That's not gonna like get them any closer to like a cosmic or anything. And then they went ahead and did desires, and they're like, oh, don't want them drawn. Don't want them drawn. So go ahead and chain order. Definitely was a uh, good here because they don't have like cosmic or anything. Res. Yes, bro. No drool. <laughs> Set three pass. Wow, Nesh was really feeling himself, huh? Normal summon out Ray. And then go for Kagari. And then go battle phase. They're going to attack the Karaz. You know, it is gaining some attack here. So they are able to beat over if they don't do anything. And then go for Shiz. 
And then end phase, shiz effect, grab an engage, which you know, doesn't actually do anything because of order. Draw on the kit. Take 700 off order. And then all mirage effect, tribute. Um, you know, just trying to, uh, you know, they, they had like nowhere to summon links right there. On summon, they're going to go ahead and Valor hit the kit. Trying to play around a like, forbidden droplet here. Then get rid of those, go for Blossom, and then Kit effect to go dumb, go dumb Nerval, Nerval effect to go search. Then this is going to be searching out from the deck to the hand of Fractal. And then activate Blossom, Blossom summon out the Fractal, and then Fractal effect, banish three, and then summon out from the extra deck a Doom Eagle, and then Doom Eagle effect to put back Ray. Yeah, they're gonna let that go through. Um, they could have belled that, but you don't really want to bell that. Like, you know, they can pretty much tell a revolt set. Otherwise, they wouldn't have gone for this turn one. They would have gone for like a Bear Bloom play. And then they're gonna get rid of those. Go for Appaloosa. And then activate Revolt, playing around Bell. They're gonna chain Bell there, but cool, chain Appaloosa to negate. And then they're gonna go ahead and use four, three from the Banished, one from the Graveyard, and then go for Omen. Omen effect, banish the Shiz. And then battle phase, uh, just go ahead and swing for some damage. And then get rid of those to summon out Silver, Omen, and Blossom, so. Add kit off Omen, draw Harpies, put back Harpies. This is all order and Harpies this game, by the way. Pass, draw Nib, they're going to take 700 from the order here, and then we're going to see Striker go ahead and admit defeat. So going on into game two, we're going to see Striker decide to go second, opening hands. We have Terraform and Desires called by Eagle Booster and Multi-Roll. So this hand has no hand traps here. Um... This deck doesn't necessarily need hand traps though to beat the Tri Brigade deck. This deck can kind of like maneuver around it. And then they have Kit and oh my gosh, anti spell order. They're they're not they're not doing anything. They're holy they can't even top deck anything to beat this either. And the rest of their hands crazy. They open cat, kit, fractal. <laughs> yeah, honestly that that, that's a match five right here. Go ahead, summon out Blossom. Kit effect, dump, at Karaz. Wow, when they said good luck and he said I don't need luck, it really wasn't kidding. Really just, uh, well, I, I guess this is like, like lucky to open these, but we're gonna go ahead, summon, and then Bear Bloom, Blossom, grab Revolt, put back, draw Foolish. And then you're going to put back Foolish. You don't really need it there. You already have your engine rolling. Pass, draw Rose. And then flip Anti-Spell. Yeah, normal summon out Rose. They're thinking there. They're going to activate Revolt. And then they just submit defeat. Said GG's. Said Karibo over. Oh, Creep Overlord. Okay, so we are going to see in the fifth match is going to be Creep Overlord versus Nesh. Two very good players. Tell him he has no hope. Holy. So, all right, let's see how long that match was though before I go ahead and click off. Um, man, these have all been very quick matches. 26 minutes long. We haven't had a 30 minute long match yet. That's insane. Especially because Iron Man's usually are longer than like normal matches too. But we are going to see Karibo Overlord versus Nash. Also, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description if you want to go check out Karibo Overlord's channel. And then we are going to see... Bro, light the fire. I'm going to cook you up. <laughs> I'm sorry to bully kids. Cringe. We're going to see Karibo win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And they're going to decide to go first. 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands. We have Beast, Schism, Shadow Fusion, Meltdown, Called By. 
You know, his hands, uh, his hands spectacular. You know, you opened up the combo: Alistair, a Shadow Monster, and Shadow Fusion. And then they have Rescue Cat, Imperm, Tanky, Ash, Nerval. They are probably feeling so good right now with this opening hand. They're gonna go ahead and activate Meltdown. Go search out Alistair. Normal summon effect, chain imperm, and then go for Amirage, get rid of that, go for Secure Gardena, and then activate Shadow Fusion. They're gonna chain Ash Blossom here, but they're gonna chain Called by Ash Me. Ja ha 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 ha. I'll chain my spell card. Yeah. They're gonna get rid of those, and then go ahead and summon out Construct, and then Construct and Beast, go dump Wendy. And then they're going to be drawing off the beast and then one D effect to go ahead and set the Shadow Dragon. And then get rid of Construct, go for Gravity. And then Construct effect, add back Shadow Fusion. And then set the Schism, pass turn, draw Fractal. And then get rid of Fractal for its effect, dump Kit. Kit effect, go grab Kuraz. And then normal summon out. Uh, so... On that summon, you could go ahead and bring out App Cologne. All right, they're gonna let that go through. Um, activate Tanky, then grab Fractal. But it's like, if you App Cologne, stop this here, then they could still have like a Kuraz extender, and I guess they were just like really respecting it there. That's good because they ended up having it. Um, activate Nerval effect, banish two. We're gonna chain schism to banish and then summon out app cologne and then summon out double dragon lords activate app cologne effect on the double dragon lords and they're gonna chain this to get rid of tanky to bounds what said no bro no 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 I'm telling you what That's not how Meltdown works. Wait, did they point at something there? No. I was gonna say, I, maybe like Karibo Overlord like pointed at their Meltdown. Yeah, mel the Meltdown doesn't work there. Meltdown is a when effect. So the summon has to be chain link one. Um, and the summon was chain link two. So, you know, they they don't get like immunity through this. Uh they're gonna go ahead and Kuraz effect, banish, bring out blossom, blossom effect, summon out fractal. Yeah, it's this is just too much here. Summon out silver and then turn those into access code, access code getting attack, effect, pop, dragon. Um, well, they're going to banish, summon out Doom Eagle, and then turn those into Omen, Omen effect, and then that's game. So, wow. Um, the thing about Tri Brigade is they don't necessarily care about Winda as much as most decks because they like normal summon an effect, special summon out one from the extract, and that's like really good. Uh, you know, most decks, when a window comes down, they're like, oh no, I just lose. Then going on to the next game, we are going to see Karibo Overlord be going first. Opening hands, we have Punishment, Prosperity, Talents, Ecclesia, Alistair. So this uh, this works. They open up Alistair and Dogmatica Engine. They can Prosperity to see more cards that they get hand trapped. They have Talents, then they have Droll, Ash, Kit, Ash, Dr Oh my gosh. Um... So they're going to start this off by normal summon Alistair and then get hit with Ash Blossom, activate Talons to look at the hand, hit Kit. Now leaving the opponent with no engine here. And then go Secure Gardener, activate Prosperity, and then Banish 6, looking at those. Um, we can see Purgatrio, we've seen a lot of people be on Purgatrio recently. And then Mill 6. They're going to grab the called by there. Uh, that's going to make it so that way, like, no matter what the opponent top decks, 
Um, it's just not going to get them to their engine. Like a tanky, a fractal, a rescue cat, all those are going to lose out to called by. A nerva, a kit, none of those are actually going to achieve your engine. Put those back. Um, they're not going to drop drill there or anything. So they're going to special summon out Ecclesia, grab knight, set pass, draw imperm. And then they're going to set imperm. So they're just setting this. I'm guessing it's just like a bluff. Uh, maybe they're like, oh, I could set this in a uh, in a zone and then get an extra negate through it next turn. Um, because they know everything. Well, they don't know everything they have here. But they, they don't know punishment. Um, they know these, though. So they know they're actually not like doing anything monster-wise at the moment. And then they're going to go ahead and attack, so maybe using this as like a, a spell trap negate is just like the best use for it. They're going to draw kit, or draw cat, normal summon out cat, and then activate punishment. That's going to send elder, and then activate elder to target imperm, and they admit defeat. So, Ryan, you can't use <laughs> high rescue. You weren't confident in your teammates, so you switched to my see how it is. Bro, you think I would let him use my account? <laughs> Fair enough, so going on to game three, we are going to see Nash be going first. Opening hands, we have Invocation, Nadir, Servant, Alistair, Contact C, Prosperity. Contact C is a very strong card. Uh, this hand is pretty good too, opening up both engines, even through a hand trap, they still have Invocation. They have Valor, Prosperity, Fractal, Judgment, and Imperm. So they're going to activate Fractal, Dumb Nerval, Nerval, go grab Kip. Normal summon kit, effect, banish, bring out bear bloom, and then they're going to activate contact C here. Contact C is just such a good card. Um, prosperity, banishing six. And then looking at the top six. Wow, there's a lot of cat there. Um, they're going to go ahead and they're going to grab revolt and then put those back. The uh, the revolt doesn't actually do anything here at the moment. Set pass all, oh, and they draw a reboot. That's uh, that's pretty good. Normal summon out Alistair effect chain imperm. They're gonna let this go through. They already have invocation anyhow, and I guess they just want to like save reboot like strictly for like a for like a judgment. Um, activate prosperity. Banishing six. Then look at the top six. And they hit a Shadal Fusion. This is. Yeah, this is just game. Yeah, this is like for sure game. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and activate Invocation here. Get rid of those. Summon Makaba. Invocation effect to grab Alistair. And then Shadal Fusion, Chain Judgment, and then in response, you've activated my trap card, Chain Red Reboot. Uh, they're going to set the Imperm and Judgment. Then Dump Dragon and Driver, bring out Construct, Construct and Dragon, Chain Veiler. Uh, then go ahead and pop the Imperm. And then activate now your servant. Sorry, doing my math. Yeah, because prosperity. Um, and then they're going to go ahead and Elder, pop contact C, special summon out Ecclesia. And then Ecclesia, grab Knight, special summon out Knight, battle phase, attack over. And then uh, Kit Dump. But this should just be game. We're gonna go ahead and Alistair this. Yeah, GG's. So GG, yeah bro, Sage. Nesh was uh unable to clutch it up there. So what a series, eh? He played well. Well my prosperity for six went wrong. Yeah, that was unlucky. Well I guess they wanted to hit like uh like an anti-spell or an order there so that way they could have like a spell like way to stop their opponent and then judgment to stop like a cosmic or red reboot or something like that um as you can see there 
said GG's, GG's. Um, so that match was 39 minutes long, and we are going to see Team 1 go ahead and win the $150 here, and Team 2 is now down $150. Nesh was unable to clutch up and win and hit the reverse sweep. It was close. It was honestly really close. It was, I mean, it was one card away close. Uh, but they were unable to do it, unfortunate. But it happens, it happens. Um, that was kind of a, a weird series. I can't lie, a lot of the matches were very quick. We usually don't see that. But again, if you want to go ahead and check out Triv, Karibo Overlord, um, or check out the Coliseum Discord, or check out the Coliseum League that is going to be going on soon. You can go ahead and check out the links down below in the description. And again, the I or the uh, Coliseum League, um, all like the rules to that and everything. I will put down below at the very bottom of the description. You gotta go past the channel members, and I'm gonna put all the rules down there. Well, not rules, but like just some info about it. Uh, you can go ahead and check that out. If you have any questions about it, uh, don't ask me because I, I really don't know the answers to it. But you can go ahead and join the. Uh, call CM Discord and go ahead and ask them. And with that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.